Hey guys, Loaded Tech here with another video today. So as you remember, previously I did a video on one of the ARES uh, power supplies. I believe that was the 650 watt non-modular unit. So today we're going to be looking at something new that they released. So this is the AGS 850 is the gold modular power supply. So not only is it 80 plus gold, you also get a 10 year warranty. It's also 850 watts and it also has all blacked out cables. So it looks pretty nice. So before we get started, let me just give you an update. So pretty much this is my build right here. You know, you got the RTX 3070, you got the Ryzen 5 3600, Tryzen Z RAM 3600 uh, megahertz. Then you got the fans. These are Cooler Master um, RGB fans. And you also got the water pump right here from Cooler Master as well. So another thing, so a bunch of accessories we got. We got the Oculus uh, Quest here. So I'm gonna do a review on that in the future. And I also got the new, um, the Razer, I believe this is the Black Shark V2 Pro. And I'm also gonna do a review on that too. It's a really good headset. So yeah, let's jump in, let's see what's inside. So I'm just gonna flip this over. What I like about the power supply boxes from ARES game is the handle right here and the box is quite easy to open. A lot of brands don't have that. So we're just gonna pop it open here. So let's see what we got in here. So as usual, you get the user manual right here. You know, you look at it if you wanna troubleshoot. You got labels right here on how to connect the eight plus four pin connector for the CPU. And you know, as they mentioned, use the original cable. This goes for all power supplies. Usually it's recommended to use the original because it lessens the chances of having problems. So these are the extra modular cables right here. And is there anything else inside? Oh yeah, so this is one of my favorite things about ARES. They always throw in a tester in there so you could test your power supply if it's working without putting it into the PC. So that's a great feature. You know, the bigger manufacturers don't do that and I believe they should start doing that because it's great for the consumer. So we'll just set that aside there. Take a look at the cable. This is the power cable right here. And you know, they gave some zip ties too, you know, screws as usual. Then you got a couple of stuff here, a couple of paperwork. And yeah, let's go into it. I'll take it all out. I'll show you guys how it looks like. All right, so this is what comes in the box as we already went through it, the manual paperwork. You got the cables right here. And this is the tester I was talking about. You can usually do it yourself with like, you know, exposed copper, but this tool is much safer, so you don't have to mess with it. As you can see, it's just these two pins that get started up on the power supply. So if the fan spins, that means your power supply is in great condition. Then we also got the zip ties. They threw in a bunch of black ones, pretty high quality. Got a couple of good screws here, all black. And then you got the cables right here. So they have a whole bunch of cables right here. They have like, you know, the mainboard power connector. So that's for the, you know, motherboard itself. Then you got the CPU connectors, the PCIe connectors. And you also have a bunch of Molexes here along with SATA, you know, in case you want to add more stuff in. So you do get a lot of options. And what I like about this, although this is semi-modular, most of the connectors here, you will end up using on your computer anyway. So you know, you're saving a little bit of money if you go for this model. And in terms of pricing, like, you know, it's priced great compared to like the big name competitors and they have good components, you know, it's 80 plus gold, you know, getting something like this at this price, especially 850 watts, you know, that's a great deal. And we'll go over the page in a second, but let's just look at the unit itself. So as you can see, I was mentioning the stats right here and you can see it right here. See the output, everything like that combine how much it consumes and all of that along with the output so this is the back right here you know you got the power connector and as you can see it looks like they're using some high quality capacitors you know i did review the old unit and that's been great so far you know works perfectly so yeah let's just go over that page take a look at it and then we're going to install it into the computer and this is actually the one i'll be using the last one i gave to my friend and it's been great for him but yeah i'm going to put it in here because i hope to you know upgrade my processor and everything and this is a more great like reliable power supply compared to the one that i have currently so let's look at the pricing and all that all right so this is what you're looking at right here so the pricing usually runs for 90 bucks which for a semi-modular 850 watt power supply is a great deal already and they also have a 20 percent uh extra savings um going on since this model just came out within this week so you know if you guys are, like go for this power supply i'll say it's a great power supply and if you do go for it Hit up that 20% off. I'm not sure how long it'll last, but it should be there by the time I have this video up. So yeah, this is what you're looking at pretty much. You got the 10 year, as I mentioned before, high quality components, and it also supports a lot of graphics cards that are quite powerful. So although I am running a RTX 3080, 
the 3070 I mean I could have used it on like you know any other graphics cards like let's say in the future I get the 40 series or anything that comes out because you know and the thing is a lot of people won't have powerful graphics cards because they're really hard to come by right now but the thing is you can still get like powerful Ryzen CPUs that are getting more available so here's more information as you can see the fans quite silent it's a 120 millimeters so you know that's pretty good so you won't hear loud noises or anything especially that gold certification so you're getting the best efficiency you can on the power supply so let's power loss so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hook all this up i'm gonna show you guys how it looks like how it runs and we're just gonna put it in the computer all right as you can see i put everything together you know i just did a little bit of cleanup since i was replacing the power supply you know might as well clean everything up got everything cable managed you know a little tidied up so this is what you're looking at here so the units right here since my case has the filter on the bottom i put the fan facing on the bottom but yeah this is how everything looks like in the back so let's just take a look at the front real quick so as you can see the cables are all black which you know this power supply is at a really good price point so you know you're getting all that it looks super clean so you don't you don't have to worry about extensions so yeah this is how everything looks you got the cpu header in the corner right there so yeah, overall, it's been running pretty good. You know, I'll just show you guys how it runs under pressure. So we'll probably run a game of Warzone. But I have tested it for around an hour, and, you know, it's been pretty good. But yeah, let's check out some gameplay of Warzone, see how it runs, you know, see if it crashes or anything. But so far, you know, the ARES game makes really good products, so it should be good. But yeah, let's check it out. All right, as you can see, we're in a game of Warzone Plunder right now. And I have stress tested in GTA 5 benchmarks for like around an hour to two hours and also played some Hitman 3 on it, Star Wars Battlefront, some Call of Duty Cold War. It's been running pretty fine, you know, having stable power to my uh, PSU. But yeah, as you can see, everything runs perfectly fine. Oh, it's too crowded. But as you can see, this from the, I don't know if you guys uh, play Warzone that much, but if you look at the far up, it's a great gun at range, you can do a lot with it. As you can see, although I'm getting flashed infinitely for some reason. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what I can do to improve my future videos, either in the comments, or you know, leave a like so I can know if you guys are like interested in these type of videos. And let me know what I can do for future content, and maybe even gaming, I can try, if you guys want me to do it, I can do like loadout builds, you know, any modding on like Cyberpunk, you know, any of the latest games out there. So yeah, just let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also about the power supply, give me an update how it runs and how it goes. And as I mentioned before, there is that promotional offer. So yeah, I hope you guys stay safe. Enjoy your day. And thanks for watching my video.